of how your product can help say the construction of a highway yeah so a construction of a highway is nothing but an infrastructure project which is different from a real estate uh, project mm -hmm. and uh, this is called linear construction uh, so linear construction has its own nuances and its own set of parameters in terms of how do I measure the progress of a linear construction mm -hmm. which is different from uh, a real estate project so right from managing the estimate once I get my CAD drawings from my architect and my uh, you know I get the list of BOQs mm -hmm. using um, 3D um, SolidWorks or Studio Architect um, I have to estimate how much I am going to spend to construct these list of BOQs mm -hmm. which is going to result in this 100 kilometers of roadway okay uh, this is a very manual process today and our system has a very automated web enabled um, software um, system that allows you to actually create multiple estimates, multiple versions of estimates, use what is called a digital schedule of rates and use a practice that is called rate analysis all online without touching pen and paper to compute the estimate of this uh, road project. Okay. Uh, once you do that it also gives you what is called access to historic data. So you might have actually bid or built roads in the past and you might want to know how much it cost you then versus now. Mm -hmm. So it would throw out the data every now and then. So you have uh, a finger on am I taking more to build this road now than I did six months back and why is that? Um, after you finish the estimate phase you actually get into what is called the tendering or the bid letting phase where you invite uh, contractors or subcontractors to come and work on your project. Uh, Often times you might do it yourself or sometimes you might actually let out a portion of the work to other contractors. This entire tender process is online using BRICS 2009. Um, contractors can submit their bids online. The system will slice and dice the entire um, quotations and analyze it BOQ by BOQ and let you know who has bid more on a BOQ basis. And then you can actually decide that I want to give BOQ items 1 through 19 to contractor A and then 20 to 89 to contractor B and then 89 to 100 I would do it myself and then you split this one piece of work into three contracts mm. now after the estimate and tender phase we now enter the contract phase mm. uh, the contract phase is the longest phase in any construction project mm. and typically what happens is that you need to measure the progress of work so that you can pay your contractors or if you're a contractor you need to measure how much you have done so that you can bill the owner and ask him to pay you for that amount of work completed. Uh, how we have addressed the contract management space is very very unique. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a module in our product called the mobile inspector which allows the field worker or the supervisor to go out on the field every day using his laptop or PDA device and collect the progress of work done on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So he would calculate the weather, compute the weather conditions, uh, the items of um, inventory lying on the the equipment site, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how many uh, pieces of equipment were there, how many JCB machines were there and how much work actually got done against a certain BOQ item. Let's say, you know, uh, 20 meters of earthwork had to be excavated. Mm -hmm. So he would post 10 meters got excavated today. So how is that any different from what's happening now? So what is happening right now is all of this data is coming in through different media on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And what we do is give them a predefined checklist on a laptop form. Mm -hmm that he would use digitally to enter the information. There is no other way he can enter additional or erroneous information against a certain BOQ item. It would be drop down based. So let's say that an inspector is typing in uh, a word, uh, say concrete, and he types in C-O-N-C-R-E-T-E, -E, and somebody else types in C-O-N-C-R-T-E. -E. It's not searchable. So what we actually do is eliminate this entire manual entry of data, uh, redundant re-entry of data, and have a one-time capture using drop-downs and radio checkboxes. Okay. This data is actually collected in an offline online mode so I could be in a construction site that has no internet access or I could be in a totally wired and wireless Wi-Fi 